Now, it's uh, nearly a week since the end of the Olympics. Uh, most of the athletes have now returned home, but more than 20 athletes from mainly African countries are thought to be seeking leave to remain in Britain uh, following the Games. Wayne Gebre Selassie, the 18-year-old Eritrean middle-distance runner, carried his nation's flag during the Olympic opening ceremony. Along with three other members of the 12-strong Eritrean team, he left the Olympic Village on Sunday as the Games were ending. He's one of the few uh, missing athletes to speak publicly about his decision to now seek political asylum. Well, he spoke to us a little earlier through his interpreter, uh, Bereket, who's from the Eritrean Youth Solidarity for Change. This decision to claim asylum in the UK is because uh, I just want to flee or escape the indefinite forced national military service program. I just want to be a free man. Yeah, I don't want to be conscripted indefinitely. How long have you been thinking about this? Is it something you've been thinking about for a long time or was it something that came to you suddenly while you were competing in London? I reached this decision, which is very hard, recently after uh, I performed in the London Olympics. And then I was looking back and I said uh, that there is no hope for me in the future in Eritrea. So I had to claim asylum in this country. Is there a risk that by doing this you may put your family back home in danger? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what may or may not happen to my family because the repressive regime is unpredictable. They do things arbitrary. All I know is even if I try to have a telephone conversation with my family, that the regime will monitor closely our conversation. And even if anything happens to them, they won't be prepared to let me know. So I take it from that that you haven't been able to speak to your family in the past few days. Well, uh, the regime, they intercept telephone calls and I don't want to put my family in a risky situation and I don't want to bring them to the attention of the authorities. So I, I'm going to avoid contacting my family until the situation settles. And what advice have you had about your case for political asylum? Uh, I mean, have you spoken to the, the Home Office here in Britain? Have you spoken to lawyers? I went in person to claim asylum on Monday morning. The Home Office went through the initial screening interview with me. I am at the early stage, so I don't want to comment further. So how optimistic are you that your case will succeed, given that when people are granted political asylum, it's because they fear persecution or harm back home. But from what you've said, it's just that you don't want to have to serve in the army. I think there is misunderstanding in this. I am a soldier who has been forcibly conscripted. According to the law, I complied with the national service, Eritrean law, that any citizen should serve for 18 months. So I overstayed there. Even I went there as a minor, not as an adult. So I did my service. I served my country in every, in every way. And I asked them to be released. Because all my siblings have been serving indefinitely. And one of them paid the price. He died in action. And uh, there is no one who is going to look after, you know, the orphans of my brother, his children. So I had to take responsibility of looking after them. And when I requested their release, based on that, they denied me. Apart from the harsh treatment in the hands of the army officers, even though I am an athlete, they are not willing to pay me well. And this in itself is not very encouraging for an athlete. And because of all these things, I came to this decision. That was Wayne Gebre Selassie uh, talking to me through his interpreter a little earlier. You're listening to News Air from the BBC World Service.